Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing? This Gorga Day. A little ninjutsu for you, if you would like. Anyways, you guys, what is up? How are you guys doing today? Today's video, I am so excited. Because I love doing testing new overhyped AF makeup and seeing if it's worth the coin. Are they worth the pinchy coin? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Is it worth it? Is it worth the fantasy? Is it good? Is it bad? I want a hot dog real bad. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. I literally have a slew of new products here that we're gonna be trying out. So, if you guys would like to see what the tea is, about products that are new that just launched that are like really really hype right now that are like you know very in into the world into the futuro then keep on watching so yeah you guys up today's video is gonna be we're gonna test out some new yeah as always if you guys don't like this video if you guys don't like me fucking watching you know that but if you guys do like this video if you guys like testing new overhyped af makeup if you guys like the gaze yeah where my people at where my people at Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm feeling very much like a father in this outfit, by the way. Like a very loose white tee, loose kind of like peachy crisscross moment. I'm feeling very white 2K father. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So anyways, you guys, let's start off with the first product first. And that's to prime. And in the words of Nikki Tutorials, not to prime is in fact a crime. And you will be going to jail. 50 years, no parole. Okay, so I have so much stuff, you guys, and you honestly have so much stuff. I also have all the new Wet n Wild Lilo and Stitch collection. It's so cute. I can't, by the way though, we do have a primer though that I tried. This is the new Emma Beauty uh, Trip and Smooth Face Primer. I'm gonna use this guy, but I also have this that I would like to try out. This is the Nude Sticks Blot and Blur Matte Stick. I might do one side of the face with this. That was way harder than I expected. Might do one side with this and then the other side with this, just to see like the difference, because I'm kind of curious. About, they're both supposed to be smoothing. We got some new Half Magic stuff. To Donnie Davies brand, who is the lead makeup artist in Euphoria. Some new ABH. You know, we got a lot. A pinchy lot. Some new Fenty. LYS. Okay, cool. I cannot get over how cute this sponge is from Wet n Wild. The whole collection, the whole Stitch collection with Wet n Wild, truly, it haunts me in the best way because it's so adorable. I'm not well. I'm not well. It's okay. The fact that the sponge comes with a fucking surfboard. No, no, and I bet you can use this to clean it. It's giving like cleansing. I was literally obsessed with Lilo and Stitch, by the way, when I was growing up. I loved Lilo and Stitch. I actually watched the show. Does anyone remember the show? Am I unlocking a memory watching the show where literally they had to like catch all of like Stitch's little brothers and sisters, all the other numbers. When I tell you it was my life and I'm not gonna take any Lilo and Stitch slander. I won't do it. I won't, sorry. If you do that, I will block you. Okay. Let's take this bed. Well, I actually saw Stephanie, aka Glamzilla, use this on TikTok. I don't know if it's actually new, but I saw it and I was very intrigued by Miss Blot and Blur Matte Stick. So I'm gonna use this one on one side. I don't think I've ever used this before. It's literally just a, a stick from Nude Sticks. And I wanna see if it does really vanish the pores like, sh it, oh yeah, it looks fucking, sure fucking looks like it, doesn't it? This Blot Stick, this Matte Stick. Have y'all seen that? Look at this side, look at this side. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm gonna do one swipe. <laughs> that shit did work. Oh my gosh. It just took the shine right away. Look at anywhere that it was shiny is no, it's, there's no reflection in my forehead anymore. There's no light. Where'd it go? Okay, I'm gonna do one side with this, as I said, even the nose too, because I'm very intrigued about the nose specifically. This is a very slippery, silky kind of consistency. This is one of those products that literally feels like dimethicone. So obviously that's kind of why we're getting this kind of pore filling effect. I will say that, I mean, I do feel like I look matte for sure. Is it super like pore minimizing? Mm, it's okay. 
For the pore minimizing portion, I do think that it mattified me gorgeously though. And I think that my skin does look nice. Let's try the uh, Alma Beauty on this side. There's an Alma Beauty powder that came out with this that I'm so intrigued by. Cause it has like a really cool component and I love it. Okay, taking this, it's like a creamy mousse. It's moussey. We're gonna see. I mean, this is also supposed to be a blurring kind of product. So we'll kind of see the fantasy. I ain't seen no blur just yet. Now are my, are my, am I? It feels actually pretty similar <laughs> to the other side. Less, less dimethicone though, more of a glide, more moisturizing. It actually gives a little bit of a glow to the skin as well. Hmm, more matte on this side, more glowing on this side. Now let me get a look. Oh my God, you know what? The gag is, you guys, this side is actually more pore blurring than this side is. This side's more matte and this side's more of a glow, but this one, my pores look smaller than this side. Should I try on my phone? Can you guys see what you want to see? You want to see? Okay guys, let me show you guys a tea really quickly. This is the side with the matte, which I feel like still looks good, but I feel like my pores look a little bit larger here. This side, once the light hits it, of course they look large, but if you're just kind of like staring, I feel like this side looks smaller pore-wise. <gasps> Don't you think? What do you guys think? Right or left? Righty tighty lefty Lucy. Okay, when it comes to pore blurring, I do feel like the Amma Beauty Trip and Smooth Face Primer, I genuinely feel looks more smooth pore wise than the Nude Stick one. The Nude Stick one still worked great. It's just not as pore minimizing as it is mattifying. So. My two cents, both of them like worked well, but that's just my two cents in comparison. I don't need to compare and contrast. So you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a foundation on that I already know and love and concealer so I can come back and test some powders and sprays and things like that. I cannot do videos like this where I'm testing all new face products back to back because I feel like if something goes off, something goes wrong, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the primer, I don't know if it was the foundation, I don't know if it was a setting spray. What is wrong? I feel like for me, I like to use things that I do know a little bit with products I don't know so I can see what the realty is, testing, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be right back. Me and Stitch will be right fucking back. Um, and I'll put some foundation I can see that on and I'll be right back to do some powder. Okay guys, so I can fully attest that this sponge is freaking great. It's so good, it feels amazing. Stitch, he did that. He's now part of my own Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay guys, so next in my bag of goodies, in my bag of tricks, in my bag of D, we have this. We have this bad boy, you guys. This is the new LYS. I believe we have some bronzing sticks. This is in the shade No Limits Motivate. By the way, on both primers, foundation went on beautifully. This side appears a little slightly more matte. This side appears slightly more dewy. I'm assuming it's because of the primer. Anyway, let's try this. That's fucking creamy. I like creamy. Did you just see how that glid? How that glided? How that glud? Okay, we're gonna see how that blends out. Oh my gosh! I'm using, of course, the same sponge that I put my foundation on with. I feel like it just helps with the blend. I think that looks so fucking beautiful. So the LYS uh, Cream Bronzer, it's definitely more creamy, but very pigmented. So it's not like a creamy where the point where it's like, help me, it's not pigmented at all. It's not that. This definitely gives off a good amount of pigment for sure. And I feel like you can build it nice too. I just want to keep going. I do, I really do. Color wise, I'm obsessed with this color, by the way. The color to me is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it's not warm, but it's not too cool. It just gives me the perfect amount of dimension. <laughs> I Love it! I will say it's a little messy. It's a little messy. Things are going on, componentry wise. It's a little messy. But I know that when I want to keep applying product just because I like the way it looks, I know that something's going right, you know? And this product, I want to keep applying and applying and applying and building and building and building because it blends so easily and the color is perfect. So, you guys, we're really full coverage today, huh? We're B to the gods today. Tell me this wasn't bomb. Okay, guys, by the way, the shade again is No Limits. Motivate. Should I link all these products down below? Should I be a little like a little affiliate link girly? Should I do that? Huh. The problem was that it takes a while to link all that shit. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you fucking that. It takes a while to link everything, to do all the fucking linking. But if you guys do want that, I can definitely make that happen. So just let me know. I also have this, I want to put this blush on. This is the new ABH blush in the shade Nectarine to stick. This is like a really pretty stick color, I feel. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's try my fetus cream. If you know where fetus cream is from, then you're an icon. And you should comment down below. That's pretty. That is pretty. I feel like it's a little draggy from the stick. I should have done uh, with the, like, put it onto a brush and then onto my face and not dragged my foundation off my face. Um, but it is very pretty. It is very pretty. I ain't doing that again. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. We're gonna just kind of do, see? Mm-hmm. The LYS glided really nicely, but this is more firm. The product itself, the consistency is much more firm and more intense. So I wouldn't actually suggest gliding right onto the skin if you have foundation already. I feel like it'll take it off. But the color is stunning. Ooh, I'm creasing under the eyes because I haven't set my face yet. Okay, anyways, you guys, both products are a win. Of the two, I definitely like the LYS more. This is just more of a dense cream. I would just say what I would do with this product, you guys, I would warm it up on the back of my hand or onto the product itself and then dip in from there and not go straight from the tube. I wouldn't go straight from the tube, you know? But overall, it is very pretty. I just, I prefer the LYS one a little bit more. Just a little more creamy. It's a little more glidey. And I love it. Okie dokie. So now that we look like glass, we're gonna use a powder. I haven't been this excited to try a powder in a very long time. In a very long time. You guys, this is the Umma Beauty Trippin' Smooth Powder. Look at this. Okay, so it's like this, right? It has like a little thing. I just think the packaging is very innovative and cool. What you do is you twist. You twist. <gasps> It twisted! Do you see how it's coming out of the bottom? Oh! It literally comes out of the bottom of the sifter. When you twist it, product comes out. I think that is fucking cool. Okay, I have the shade light, so we're gonna go in with the shade light. And we're gonna use the shade light. So I'm gonna go in with a sponge for my lower eye, right here. The product itself is very thin. Very, very thin, very lightweight. I think it's oxidizing me a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of there and we're gonna put it on the back of this. Because even though it's cute and innovative and fun and great and stunning, I need more surface area and that's not giving it, you know what I mean? Okay, so the shade light is like too dark for me, to be quite honest. And I know it looks like a little funny, like on camera, you guys are thinking like, no, it doesn't matter, you fucking psychopath. Like you, you look great, it's the same color. I know you guys always clock me with the colors of stuff. You're always like, Manny, you literally, that's your exact color. And I, and I understand, I understand what you guys are saying. But let me show you guys on my phone. Can you guys tell in here that it made it darker underneath my eyes? Look at the color of my forehead. Look at the color of my lip. Do you see how the color underneath my eyes no longer matches that? Because it went darker. I will say I love the effect of the powder. It's very smoothing, very blurring. I love, 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 love the effect of it. I need a different color for sure. Maybe a translucent. The product itself is stunning. And I love the innovation of the packaging. Like literally, these are the things that get me horny. Okay, we're gonna do it all over the face. I bet if you do it with a brush, oh, it changes my color, sure does. But with the brush, it's less noticeable. So with a brush, you guys, it is much less noticeable than if you're doing it with a sponge. Wow, the effect is beautiful though, very blurring. So now that we are fully powdered and fully oxidized, let's get a little look-see, shan't we? The powder is really nice. Looks nice on the skin. I just need a different color. I feel like it's not my shades. I do need a different shade. I do, I really do. I do believe in fairies. I do, I do. I do believe in fairies. Okay, so now that we're powdered the down house filled boots, mama, God, yes, God. Um, We're gonna go in bronze up because I literally need it and I literally look like a fucking egg. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Hula Honey Stitch Collaboration. Look at this. Are you kidding me? It has two highlighters in it and two bronzers in it. This is one of the cutest collabs ever. Like, dead ass. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Aloha. It has a scent. It has a soft, subtle scent. What is it, like coconutty? I think I could also be tripping. There's that, that's a possibility as well. I'm gonna go with some bronze. Oh, look at this color. That's done. I'm using a Lunar Beauty LBF3 brush. Again, I'm taking the shade Aloha to just re-secure the bronze I already had down. See that, I'm just reinvigorating, if you will. Reinvigorating, this is nice, the formulation is nice. It's definitely like matte, it's not like a satin finish, it is pretty. Darn matte, matte for Manny. Yeah, Maddie MUA. The color, I feel like it could, I wish it was a little bit darker actually. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the one with the guitar on it. Okay, okay that's that's too dark. 
That is too dark. Okay. Blend that away, can't we? Okay, the dark shade is really dark. And the lighter shade, it's like pretty darn light. Look, did you see that? I'm mixing the two of them to get my custom shade, which you can definitely, definitely accomplish. I'm just saying that they're so shockingly different on two different spectrums. So it could probably honestly fit a lot of skin tones because you can kind of mix and match to get your perfect little bronzing shade, which could work great. I'm so bronzed up. Oh, bronzy. I'm gonna add some blush really quickly to my face because I don't have any new powder blush. I'm gonna take, I'm just taking my new Prism Blush palette and I'm feeling like color story wise, I wanna be a little bit more orangey. So I'm taking some blaze. It's really pigmented, tell be careful. I'm a little bit peachy. That's kind of the fantasy I want for the cheek. Yeah, that's definitely the fantasy I want for the cheek. A little bit on the nose too, a little sun kiss. A little sunburn, if you will. What is your guys' favorite Disney movie? I'm curious, because I was talking about Stitch earlier, obviously. So what is your guys' favorite Disney movie? I need to know, I need to know. Uh, Disney-wise for me, I would have to say The Little Mermaid. It's my go-to. And then Pixar, I would say The Incredibles. Those are my go-tos. Okay, I'm gonna swatch the highlighter. So smooth. That's not bad. That one's not bad. I thought it was gonna be a little bad because it has chunks of gold glitter in it. Mmm, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> okay, so this has uh, chunks of reflect gold in it, like pretty large reflect particles in it. So it's literally kind of like a little glitter bukkake, if you will. Okay, we're gonna go and load this up and we're gonna see. Okay, we have to just really load it up, you know? Also, I could be pretty powdered. It'd be not the best to stick to. Hold on. Let me spritz my face real quick on the other side because I feel like that doesn't do any, that's not doing nothing. Let me take the Half Magics spray. I'm gonna let that kind of tickle me a little bit and then we're gonna go in with that same highlighter. See, that's what we're talking about. It needed to stick to something. My face is too much. Matte, 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 matte. But do you guys see how it's like, there's large particles of gold? Yeah. Okay, let me do the other side too, because I don't want it to look just one side. Okay, there we go. It's like just so, uh, it's so, the particles are so large. It's like so apparent. Wow, I didn't realize, I didn't. Let me see if we can see on my phone. Can you guys see the gold glitter particles on my phone when I like turn? Can you see little gold specks floating around? Can you see the gold specks? So I will say of the palette, obviously I don't like the gold specks that are in it. I just feel like it's a little too much. There, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. I wish it just wasn't in it. The color itself has like a nice, very light, light, light base with like a reflect to it, a little gold reflect to it. But the gold shimmer, I think is just putting it way over the edge. It, it didn't need that, it didn't need that. I also got these um, from ColourPop. These are the Super Shock Cheek highlighters from their collection. Should I just use these, honestly? I should have used this. Fuck, that's nice. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, um, highlighter here is a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up, though. Like, it's just not complimentary on the skin. What? So ever. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera really quickly, and I'll be back to do the eyes together. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Ooh, that was a good back in the brows are filled today. God damn. Anyways, you guys, so I went ahead and filled in the brows, and now we're moving on to our eyes. I have this new ABH palette. This is the Nuvo, Novu, Nueva. It's a, it's a, it's a word. N-O-U-V-E-A-U. Eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. And this is the fantasy that we are in. It's giving forest, and I think I wanna do something greeny. Like, I can't like look at this palette and not do something a little more on the green side, so that's what we're doing today. Also, I have this from Half Magic. Wear your heart in your face. What is it though? It looks like a stingray. It's supposed to be a guide. Place guide on outer corner of eye with preferred tip facing outwards. Preferred tip facing outwards like this. Hold firmly in place to create your perfect wing or graphic liner design. Oh, okay. So it's whatever you want to do. It's your guide for liner. 
That's kind of cool. I actually really, really like that. That's so dope. Huh. Should we try? You know, take the shade of liberty. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Is this wrong? Or is it, oh, maybe like this. You guys, how do you use this? Am I doing it right or am I doing it wrong? There's a line. <laughs> I don't want the line, actually. I just decided right in this moment I don't want it there. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we're gonna try it the other way on this side. Well, shit, we're gonna try it like this. Like that? You guys, help me! How do I use it? I'm confused. And see if this will work. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that, that fucking sharp ass line. Dare I say that I really like that? On this side, I don't like it as much. On this side. It's giving me life in prison. <laughs> so we're gonna do that same shade. I've only used the one shade so far, you guys, this whole time. I've only used Liberty. Give me Liberty or give me death. It's a little dramatic. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Paloma on my brow bone. Kind of give a light, a light blend to the look. So I feel like it's looking a little intense. I feel like it's, which is kind of normal for a sage green blend out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of gray. Doesn't it kind of give you a gray vibe? It's supposed to be green. I don't know what happened. I'm taking the shade Hope and I'm putting that, like the middle of my lid. I'm putting it in the middle of my lid right here. The shade Hope, which is definitely more on the green side. You can see that's fucking green, right? A little bit right here. What do you guys think? Is it giving the fantasy? Is it giving green? I'm taking the shade Wings next. These shades are fucking nice. I'm gonna do that on the inner third. See how kind of bl it blended into a moment together? A moment like this? Wow, that's pretty. I feel like I haven't done a look like this in a while. Like a kind of greeny, sagey, stunning moment in a bit. So I'm gonna take that wings a little bit higher actually. Cause I have hooded lids. Yeah, and they're fucking annoying. God, the shades I will say are like really, they're chunky, but they're pigmented and buttery at the same time. It's very confusing. The shades are nice, you guys, the palette's nice. They're shimmers, I wouldn't say they're like metallic. They're a shimmer formula, which I tend to expect from ABH formulations. <gasps> you guys, do you know what I just finished yesterday? And I'm kind of devastated. I just finished La Victor. And am I crazy or was the third season the last season? Like, is it, is it a, was it the series finale or the season finale? I need, I need to know these things. I need your guys' uh, interrogation tactics, please. Like, are we, is it done? Are we done with Victor? Like, what the freak? Cause someone, I saw some people saying that like, it's over after season three and I'm like, no, there's no way. And now I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna go finish my eyes off camera and stop jabbing because if I keep talking, I'm not gonna focus on my makeup look and it's gonna turn out ugly. I'll be right back. Y'all, let me say something real quick. Before I disappear again, let me say something really, really quickly. By the way, this is the eye look. I ended up adding a little bit of that lavender in the inner corner, that wisteria shade in the inner corner. So what it looks like, I feel like it looks really, really great with the bold wing. Anyway, let me just talk about this mascara real quick. So I was like, I was putting this mascara on. This is the Wet n Wild Flying High Mascara with Stitch. And I was like, oh my God, how cute. And it was like coating my lashes and like the, the curl wasn't falling. And I was like, wow, why is my curl like staying so strong? Like it's giving me waterproof vibes because like, it's so, you know, lifting. I'm shocked. It's waterproof. It's water, it is waterproof in, indeed. I'm not really a waterproof mascara kind of girly. I will say myself, so let me just let you guys know that it is waterproof and I couldn't continue on and apply my lashes without letting you guys know that this is in fact waterproof. Mm-hmm. The cool thing about waterproof is that I feel like my mascara, like my curl, stays curled for a while. And you know, obviously it lasts for uh, eons and centuries. But the mascara itself, I like it. I like the wand as well. I like that small little, tiny, tiny little teeth. Look at that, I feel like it coats the bottom great. Maybe this would be good for like the lower lashes. For me, I don't get a ton of transfer on my lower lashes on my skin because I don't have long enough lower lashes for there to be transfer. Like it never happens for me, but if you do, transfer like the mascara on your lower lashes to your like skin down here. Waterproof might be the way to go on the lower lashes, just saying. And this coats it really nicely. So I think that if you're into waterproof and you're into stitch, I think you'll like this. I think the look turned out really cute. I like the little purple pop, purple pussy pop, you know? Okay guys, so now that we have our lashes on, the look is complete on the top. What do we think? I like it. I like it. Okay, anyway, we're moving on to the lips, you guys. 
last and certainly mostly not least is the lips. So we're gonna go and go in with the new half magic sculptitude two in one lip liner. This product. Then we're gonna take the mouth cloud and then oh, maybe maybe cherry treat lip oil from Fenty on top. Uh -huh. I would say of all the like lip duos that they have, this is definitely my favorite one. These are in the shade I have needs and I'll pray for you. I'm gonna go in with I have needs on this side. Very, very creamy, very pigmented. Okay, so the only thing I, with this kind of thing, with this component is that I personally really like sharpenable components. So this probably wouldn't work for me in the way of like continuing to use it. Color-wise, it's gorgeous, I love this color. And the formula is very nice and glidable. I would say if you don't mind that this is a, a retractable pencil, I think that you guys would actually really, really like it. It's just, I have a hard time getting a like very sharp edge without a sharpenable pencil. So I just prefer those. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Gorgeous shade, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Let's use the other side as well on the outer corners. Oh God, carefully, cause they're very pigmented. I didn't use this one yet. Okay, so I have my issue. These are too fragile in this component to me because the formulation is so creamy and pigmented that usually when formulas like this need to be a little bit more like stable and secure. This one is better. The darker one is a lot harder to use because it has like this like flimsiness in the component itself. That's what the lip liner looks like. I think it looks really pretty. Honestly, I think the color itself is stunning. Like them combined, I think it's stunning. Does anyone else find it hard to use uh, retractable lip liners or just me? Like I just like sharpenable. I think it's just because I'm used to that. I just really enjoy it. I like the sharp edge it can give me. I always, whenever it comes to pencil like this, I'll always have to clean up the concealer around my lips to get the line I want. So I would say that's a cool product. Definitely I like the dual endedness of it and the color is really, really stunning. I just know I won't continue to use this because of just my style of makeup. I just don't like using retractable lip liners. So this would probably be a pass for me. Um, let's go in with the mouth cloud in the shade Mr. Sheiky Pants. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it glides on so nice. I would say this is like a a lip mousse. Like it doesn't have the texture of a gloss, doesn't have a texture of a lipstick. It's more moussey than that, but it has good medium coverage. It's nice, I like it. Very comfortable, I like her. Miss Mouth Cloud, I like, I like. Lip liner, not so much. Mouth Cloud, yes. Should we add our little cherry lip oil on top from Fenty, why not? Why not? That is stunning, it smells so good. This lip right now is giving it to me. And that is it you guys, that's it for today's video testing some new overhyped makeup. Tons of new stuff out here, tons of new goodies. This is the final look. What do we think? Should I do like a final look on my phone so you guys can see what it looks like on my phone? Final look on the phone as well. Just a little scan, a little scanny. Okay, so what do we think? What products do I love? Okay, let's go and just do a quick little top of the video kind of vibes. One of my favorite products of the video was actually the LYS Cream Bronzer. The formulation, so buttery, so smooth, so creamy, so just blendable. I absolutely loved it. The only thing I don't like about it is the component. I feel like the component itself is a little hard because it gets a little dirty. Um, but it was really, really nice. I love the formulation so much. Next product that I freaking really liked and enjoyed and I can't wait to continue to use is actually the Umma Trip and Smooth Face Primer. I need to use this more, but I do feel like it really did make my pores look smaller. And for me, like, that's what I want. Like, I'm gonna take care of the oils and do other things throughout the makeup routine, but what I really want is my pores to look smaller. So the fact that this actually accomplished that and made it look more smooth truly was like a win for me. I'm gonna continue to try it, but as a first impression, this was definitely a win for me with this trip and smooth moment because it did give me a glow, but it was also blurring. I don't know how the fuck they did it. I don't know. And the last of the video that I'm like, yes, bitch, is the Half Magic Mouth Clouds. I think they're really, really nice. I love the moussey consistency. I think they feel gorgeous on the lips. They don't feel heavy whatsoever. They have a nice buildable consistency. They're kind of, they're not full coverage, but they're not sheer. They're just nice. They feel like a really good moussey lipstick, like a nice satin lipstick formula that looks really pretty on the lips. So I think that the Half Magic ones are kind of fire. Like this shade specifically, Mr. Chic, Y pants or cheeky pants? I like you, I like you. So those are my favorites of the videos. Now let's do my least favorites of the videos that I probably would pass up on. So least favorites of the videos, I would say the Half Magic Sculptitude Lip Pencils. This is only based off of the fact 
that I like sharpenable lip liners. These are not sharpenable, they're retractable. And I think that for me, I like a sharper edge. I don't like it to be blunt. If you have very defined lips, and you don't give a shit about sharpening your pencil, I think this would be fantastic. The formula is really pretty. It glides gorgeously. It felt stunning on the lips. For me, I don't have the most defined lips. I need a good strong border for my overdraw because I like to overdraw my lips when I'm glam. So I need something sharp and very like ch 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 So for me, this just won't work. I will not continue to use them, sadly. Um, but formulation wise, they are very, very nice. And if you don't mind a non sharpenable, retractable lip liner, I think you will really, really enjoy these. Um, next, I would say, sadly, I don't want this to be in one of my least favorites, but it is. I'm devastated and hurt. This is the <laughs> Wet n Wild Hula Honey Palette. The reason why I'm putting this in my, one of my least favorites, not only is like the gold chunky glitter kind of annoying, this Aloha bronzer, because it is so light, it barely, barely shows up on me. And so I kind of have to mix the deep, deep brown shade to kind of get like the pigmentation that I want it to be on my face. So I just feel like realistically, I just don't know how many people are gonna get a ton of use out of this. I did like this formula, this felt different. This has much more of a glide and smoothness to it. This one is a much harder, pressed a lot harder and has a, that gold reflect in it. The large chunky glitter, it's just not the best. I just don't like it very much. Overall, I think it's cute and if you love Stitch and you like want a product like this, I think you guys will get some good use out of it. I just think that realistically, it's just not my favorite of the video, you know? I would say those are probably the only two products that I can be like, well, I'm not like the biggest fans of them because everything else worked really, really, really well. This is something I can see as like a tool for people that might really, really enjoy it. For me, I would probably end up just using like a paper or a card or something to do that kind of line. I don't really use products like this, but if you're a beginner and you want like a nice guidance, it might be really, really great. I don't know um, how much use I'm gonna get out of this, but it definitely did work. I just don't see myself like continuously using it. You know what I mean? But overall, I will say I'm actually really impressed with the majority of these products. Even the products I didn't love, I can definitely see people getting some good use out of them as well. I've obviously done videos like this that are like, the majority of shit is literally terrible or there's a couple like shining savior products, but this one I would say the majority of products were actually really, really good. And some things take a little bit more of a learning curve or some tips and tricks along the way. But overall, I am impressed. I have to say, overall, I am actually very impressed. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys had fun watching. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Mwah. I was shot the goods. I will soak you and you will get cuter even. Do you guys ever like when you glam and you like are really beat and you're like looking like, oh my gosh, like I look so beat. Do you ever just be like, God damn, I'm that girl. Cause I know I am. Top Gun's above me. Currently Tom Cruise flying above me right now. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Oh, I just saw Top Gun last night. That's why Tom Cruise is on the mind. A, what? What year is it? There was too much on the brush that time I didn't see. And all we do back to do ah! I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know about the strangers like me. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sensation. <laughs> Bitch, call me Ariel. Call me Ariel.